I think she really underestimates the lengths he will go to. Um, and I think she, f she feels that she was pushed into a position where she had to make a decision kind of for the greater good and put her own emotions aside. Um, and I think she expects in some ways for Vane to kind of understand that. But it's obvious that this has just gone too far. And um, she starts to really see how Vane is, is a huge threat to kind of the way of life on this island. The, what she's, the, the horse she's backed essentially is Flint. So the minute Vane is, is kind of invading that, she realizes that she can't marry these two well. She can't, she can't have chaos operating within this world and that is really what Vane represents and uh, you know and the idea that actually prizes aren't just about cash and and you know loot it's about political alliances prizes can be far more um, far more critical than just taking money from people it's about ensuring that you have the right alliances back in the colonies so yeah it's, it's a really complex decision she has to make but it's another decision where she completely overrides her own emotional wants and needs and the emotional wants and needs of other people in order to kind of strive for her vision. The significance of the portrayal uh, on her part uh, towards, towards, you know, for, for Vane is that um, the one thing that she lost with, with that portrayal was uh, holding him back from doing what he's been wanting to do with this island and I think his vision of this island is very specific uh, and that he does not see the English being a part of that at all uh, and that anyone who sees the English being a part of that is an enemy to the cause uh, of that. Now all that's been holding him back on that is that he said Alana sees England as a side of it um, and so I think what's important about that portrayal is that it motivates uh, it motivates Vane's action towards his ideological goals, um, and uh, and and that's very significant for you know obviously uh, life and death of some of the people on this island, and the life and death of some people elsewhere in the world. Um, now that being said, uh, there's there's still a big distance to go. I mean, I think Vane's idea of uh, of what he wants is more based on what he knows he doesn't want. Uh, but he still doesn't necessarily have a very good picture of what he wants. I know he, he, does, he knows he doesn't want slavery and he doesn't want to live under a monarchy, uh, a place where people have power intrinsically based on their birth doesn't seem to resonate with him. He thinks that it, you know, that's why he's, the people who he respects in this, in this world uh, are, are very much self-made people. Um, people who he seems, who he thinks are, you know, kind of, uh, you know, there because of uh, who they, you know, who they were born as. It. Now, Ellen is kind of like an outlier on that. Um, but it's interesting because you can argue Elena either way. You can be like, oh, Elena was well, she was the, the daughter of the, you know, the 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 rich businessman in the area, and that's how she did it. But I think, uh, I think Vane doesn't see her that way. I think Vane sees her as a, as a self-made person. Uh, you know, someone who took what, what what she knew she wanted, uh, and the same with, with Max, and the same with, uh, with Jack Rackham, and, and, uh, and I think he'll, you'll see he'll come to, uh, to learn about other people uh, that maybe he's opposed to now, uh, and, and, that, and that respect can grow, and, and that uh, what he, you know, kind of, that he can further define what he wants uh, from, from the world, because he, uh, he'll definitely, you know, he'll definitely fight for it. Thank <laughs> you.